But if you saw everything new like a child, in that spontaneous way, that adventuresome way, that delight of life way, then you would probably, or we would probably find everything absolutely amazing. And that really is what Abundance says. And that's the course description, if any of you read it. I just read it this morning. <laughs> <laughs> abundance is so big. And when you first think of abundance, or at least I do, I think of the monetary value of abundance, like how much money does a person make. But we know now that we're into the Aquarian age, coming the dawning of the last December 21st, that abundance is much broader. And even the trend of really knowing that happiness does not come from money is almost something that everybody is seeing now. Where growing up in the 40s and the 50s for myself, being 70 next month, and madmen, 60s, right? Bye-bye, more and more, uh, lie-lie as much as you can, and just get people to do all kinds of things. Um, we're not buying that now, because we know it's not based on truth. And that's why these conferences throughout the world get bigger and bigger and bigger. We also have the privilege of going to Wonderlust and the other conference and the festival in India and many places globally. The numbers in Russia are exponentially growing. Israel, amazing. South Africa, we're going to do a big teacher's training there in Cape Town. It's like five years ago, there wouldn't have been that. Ten years ago, Russia didn't even know the word yoga. <laughs> you see? It's really changing, even in Iran. Even in Iran, where it's illegal to publicly teach yoga, and illegal to chant, still people are gathering in people's homes. And it will soon bust out, the same as it did in Russia. Because freedom is on the rise. Freedom to do that which your heart and your spirit is leading you to do is on the rise, and it will not stop. Because we're gathering together for this Aquarian age. For some of you may not be familiar with, except from the musical, Hair. <laughs> <laughs> which really came out of the 60s, which was amazing because it proclaimed this arrival of this time where the truth shall be known inside of you. And you shall not, you shall not look outside yourself for truth anymore. Because it's not available. Because it's somebody else's truth. You have to self-experience truth. Jesus said 2,000 years ago, only through me shall you enter the kingdom of heaven. But he was not talking about the man, Jesus. He was talking about the spiritual Christ consciousness that we're all arriving at now, whether you know it or not. So abundance can come so easily now. Miracles can become like a train that never stops. That expression that was on stickers, on, on car buffers, was um, uh, expect a miracle. And it's so true. But then you have to define what is a miracle. A miracle is something where you spontaneously surrender to the creative force of the universe. And then it just is like on and on and on a miracle. Your mind needs something. Your body needs something. You go around the corner and it's right there. And that's the truth of the age that we're going into. Now the beauty of yoga, whatever style you do, it connects you back to your breath. And breath is what connects you to your abundance. And it happens. It's not just words. It's not just I hope. It's happening right now. However, if you don't get on this train, you might say, the life will be very miserable and very hard and very tragic as we are surrounded by people who are experienced that because they have no idea that life is a miracle, that God is love. They live in an old paradigm called the Piscean Age, where they think they have to roll their sleeves up 
and fight harder and work harder and not trust. And their lives are they're harsh. They don't have enough because they don't believe that it's available, the enoughness, the abundance is always out there. It's the time now as we're in this Aquarian age to build ourselves up as peaceful warriors. But the battle is not outside with other people or other countries. The battle is always on the inside of you. And it's called your mind. Balancing the left and right side of your brain, the four hemispheres, the positive mind, the negative mind, the moon energy, the sun energy, the negative, the positive, it's all balanced. And when the mind can come into alignment, the body becomes into alignment. And the beauty of all yoga is designed to bring you into alignment. And so that's what we're going to do today. Now we're going to get so unaligned at first. We're just going to let everything just come unfolded, like almost like we're at a rock and roll um, festival, let's just say. And we're just going to let everything go. So that the old gets to bounce off. We have space. And then we're going to pull it all together and take us into this direction for this Aquarian Nation for this year 2013. Which is a year when Yogi Bhajan came in 1969. He talked about this year. He talked about the Aquarian Nation the whole time in preparation. And we could barely believe when we were teaching on the 21st of December 2012, the gateway to the Aquarian Age, that, oh my God, we've been 40 plus years waiting for this date. Mm -hmm. And to tell you the truth, the next day I felt very different. And I talked to a lot of people and they did. There was some clearing, there was something being lifted. I mean, a lot of people thought the world was going to end on the 21st, and it didn't. We're still all here. And it was a celebration. Now you can go into the celebration part or you can stay in the linear, lower energy and just read the newspaper every day and get discouraged and all of that. Or you can rise above it into this Aquarian age and believe the promise that has been given to us. That it will be the dawning of a new age where light will rule, truth will rule, and love will rule. And I choose to believe that, because why not? It makes you just feel better to believe that, that we're doomed, it's going to be the end of the world, you know, the economy, and da -da 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 like that, we can go on and on and on. Or you can swing to that upper level of consciousness. But it takes a warrior inside of you to have the discipline to rise up and say, I choose that, I'm not going to go there. Because the battle is always in the mind. And when you become the conqueror and the warrior and you have the victory in your own mind, nobody will bother you. What you'll have is such deep empathy for people. If you're bothered by a particular person or characteristic and all the same people that seem to have the same characteristic, then you have to know it's inside of you and that's just bugging you. Nothing to do with them, they're just mirroring you. But when you're able to become the victor, then your compassion just flows for everyone because you have it for yourself too. It's big. It's basically enlightenment. We call it shunya. That's really about, as I turn 70, my only prayer now is that we all have shunya. Because what's the point? and that we start this path towards our enlightened state. We don't just look towards Buddha or Christ or other people that have come on the planet who are enlightened, but we just assume that we have that potential and we shall also be that because you know what? You will keep coming back over and over and over and over again until you arrive there because that's the pattern of the human being. That's what reincarnation is to go to the level of enlightenment. So why not do it this lifetime? Yeah? Mm -hmm. It's available now more than it's ever been. The skies are open. The dimensions are open. 
we passed over this December 21st. So just walk into it and be it. Yogi Bhajan would just say, fake it till you make it. <laughs> <laughs> the only catch-22 is you can't fake enlightenment through your ego. <laughs> but one good way to start is by serving, by helping people, by being kind. Like His Holiness the Dalai Lama, he says, my religion is kind. You can start, and then you can start catching it. You can start feeling it. And it can become a habit of kindness because it feels good. Let's bring